What's going on YouTube? Moto here again with another unboxing video. It's been a while, sorry for the long wait time uploading. I've recently moved to Wyoming from Texas, so please understand. Just getting situated and I mean it's been a couple months, but I'll do a later update video on my CZ Scorpion. I finally got my tax stamp back to show you all the accessories I did to it. But anyways, let's get to this unboxing. So today I got a Ruger 10 22 takedown light. So there's the box. This is a little standard cardboard box. Yeah, nothing really exciting. But exciting part is, I'm oh, sorry for the dog hair. It comes with this nice carrying case. Mine is me flipping it because my dog. Let's see, first everywhere. But there's a nice carrying case. And there it is, gentlemen and ladies. It is a takedown version. I got it in black. They do offer it in three other colors it's red, green, blue. And I believe gold. So I got the black because I'm gonna paint it. But this is how you get it out of the box. Comes with these little padded flippers or ears. Got three zipper pouches right there. Here's your user manual in one of them and your warranty. Uh, the middle one on mine's empty. Just kidding. And then uh, it comes obviously with that standard lock that no one likes. So keep in mind this baggie that she took out kind of did it at work. Comes with some accessories because it doesn't come with a rail attached to it. So as you can see, taking off the lower or the stock, it comes with this rail. A little standard 1913-ish looking style rail. Uh, but yeah, had that installed. Comes in the box. Comes in this bag, I should say. And yeah. So there it is. I'm going to try to do this all one-handed, so excuse me. I really need to get a camera. I'm going to keep doing this. So we're playing with it a little bit at work, but it's fairly, fairly simple. Let's see if I can... Bam. Cool. Like I said, you got your stock. It also comes with a changeable back butt plate. So you get a little cheek riser in there, unless you want a smooth stock. That's up to you. It also comes with two little foam mats. If you want to have a suppressor attachment or whatever, you could throw that in the box as well. Or maybe some MyPro. Obviously, personal preference is holds them in pretty good. It's all Velcroed down. But here's the takedown. If you look at this lower stock, you'll see this little ring right here with a uh, Allen tool or screw per se. It's very tiny. I don't know if you can focus on it, but it's stupid small. Uh, that's your timing. So we're going to get this out of the box, you're going to attach it, and it's going to be a little loose, you're going to get a little wobble in the barrel, but obviously that timer, you're going to tighten back up, which also makes it kind of a B to, to take it off, but that's pretty much how you put the rifle together, so here's your stock, here's your, your barrel, you're going to come in, and clicks right in it, locks it into place. AR also comes with a nice little heat shield. And also one thing I did notice, this barrel is very tiny. It's like the size of a pencil. I understand it's a 22, but I don't know if it's because of the heat shroud or whatever, but it is tiny, tiny inter uh, internal barrel. Also comes threaded, which is a nice feature. That's why another reason why I got it, so I can suppress it later down the road. Um, it's, uh, it's half threads. So if you have an existing 22 uh, can, specifically for a 22 or a 556 can, should thread on there just fine. Also comes with this little uh, nipple thing, <laughs> nipple hole, I should say, excuse my phrasing, for a bipod, if you're in down for that. Doesn't come with a, a bottom rail, which kind of sucks, because I prefer 1913 style rails for bipods, but it's all personal preference. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much what comes in the box. You get the standard manual, you get the lock, you get an interchangeable butt plate and just the gun itself. It comes with a 10 round magazine. I gotta lock it to the rear. Right. And maybe. No. Sorry, this is all. There, oh, there we go. Lock it to the rear. Uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of not a big fan of it. It's kind of an AK style. So you're gonna kind of lift up on this tab right here and you got a little finger hole. So you're gonna lift up on the tab and pull out with your index finger. And there you go, you got your 10 round box magazine, which is nice. I prefer 
a little 30 rounder. I'm gonna use this for prairie dogs, but. Uh, trigger, I did it at work. It's roughly, it's, it's a heavy trigger. But then again, it's 22, so it really shouldn't matter. But they are YouTube. Um, has a nice little, I guess, texturized grip, per se. I like it. It's slick. It's coming in about five and a half, six pounds, I'm guessing. But it seems solid. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much the unboxing video. If you have any more questions, leave a comment down below. Obviously, it helps a lot. Like subscribe all that good stuff share if you want to so if you're actually looking to purchase one of these they're running about 650 that's kind of the downfall in the price but i won't know until i actually take it out and shoot it uh, my scope comes back from vortex next week so uh, i'll probably do a review on that see how the groups are holding i mean then again it's 22 like who cares right just blinking so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I kept the short for you. And again, give the thumbs up, comment, like, share, all that good trash. And see you next time.